Okay. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Hello everyone. Um, hope that you're doing great. I am Yusuf. Uh, today, inshallah, we're going to learn some vocabulary. Uh, of course, uh, you're going to use some words to describe some people looking. Uh, for example, you say that person is beautiful. So today we will learn how to describe people. I mean, the the, the appearance of people when we talk about beauty, of course. I'm not going to start immediately, so the things that I'm going to wait for a while, tell everyone, get notified that we're starting a new live session. Okay, so today I just need you to be prepared. Of course, I need your pen, your notebook, all right, because I need you to write down the spelling, to write down your notes, of course. Uh, the notes are very important. In, okay, notes are very important. Okay, like this one. Now I'm getting notified. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, silence. There we go. So, uh, today we're going to learn some new words to describe uh, how to say beautiful, how to say pretty. Uh, the, the most important thing now we will learn to with me with me like with Yusuf you will learn the word how to use it and the pronunciation of the word and the pronunciation of the sentence because it is very important to pronounce to speak any language is very important all right so let's agree on this فإنشاءالله اليوم حنأخذ شوية كلمات الكلمات هذه حتساعدكم كثيرا جدا آه الناس اللي ما يعرفونيش انا يوسف ليبي الجنسيه مولود في ليبيا متربي في ليبيا متعلم اللغه الانجليزيه داخل ليبيا ولكن مش مع آه ليبيين بشكل حصري متحصل على شهاده الاحتراف في التدريس اوكي سم بيبل نيد تو نو ذس اوكي so this is the professional certificate in English language teaching and here is Yusuf Muhammad Omar Abdesalam. All right. تخصصي علم اللسانيات لسانيات linguistics so uh, masters in linguistics all right. Uh, I've been teaching English for 17 years. Uh, I worked with Australian people, teachers of course, Canadian, Maltese, English, British, American, South African. Those were my colleagues. And my students were from Liverpool, Manchester, UK, uh, Turkey, China, Saudi Arabia. So, all right, so, yeah, my English is a bit good. All right, so are you ready? So today we will learn how to say pretty, all right? We will learn how to say pretty. Uh, do you have any questions? Okay. There's a very important question, which is, do I need one word to say beautiful, or I need 10 words or 20 words? Some people say, why 20 words? I need only one word to use to say the house is beautiful, the man is beautiful, or the woman is beautiful. All right? So one word is enough. No brother and sister. One word is not enough because <coughs> it's not about the language you use. It's about the language you might listen, you might hear. So when some people use other words, not beautiful, you will not understand them because you do not know a lot of words. For example, native speakers, other speakers, on TV. So, yeah, you need more words because it's not about the language you use. It's about the language that you might get exposed to. And there's a very important thing. When you have one word and you forgot that word, you would be stuck. Because you forgot it, you wouldn't be able to continue the conversation because you have only one word. But, for example, when you have five words, I forgot the first, I forgot the second, I forgot the third. 
So I can remember the fourth or the fifth. So it's like the, the spare tire when you drive a car. If one of the tires blew off, you have extra. So don't worry. فحف أكثر من كلمة للمعنى الواحد مهم جدا في المحادثة أحيانا أنت تسقط منك أو تنسى كلمة معينة أو ما تقدرش تستحضرها فعندك بدائل كثيرة جدا بالإضافة إن لما الأشخاص اللي قدامك يستخدموا كلمات أخرى تساوي الكلمة اللي عندك فأنت حتفهمهم ليش لأنك أنت تعرف كلمات كثيرة عن الموضوع هذا uh, So brothers and sisters are you ready? Are you ready? If you are ready, say yes, you're ready. Are you ready? Can you hear me? Do you hear me? No one is saying hello. No one is saying hi. Hello. All right, so the first word is this one. No, 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 no. No flash. This one, pretty, pretty, right? So, pretty is uh, a beautiful woman, you can say pretty, pretty, all right? Uh, my teacher is pretty. I met a pretty lady. Uh, your daughter is Pretty, so pretty means beautiful. But beautiful is more than pretty. So if we say degrees, now we say pretty, then beautiful. Beautiful is more, more pretty. Okay? Is everything okay? All right. So, and the word beautiful is this one. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, all right? Sorry. Uh, beautiful, pretty and beautiful can, you know, words used for women, but can I use them to describe men? Yes, of course. Of course you can use beautiful to say that man is beauty beautiful or that man is pretty. But only in one situation, only in one case, when the man, when the man has got uh, female looking, you know, the lips, the eyes, the, the tone of the skin, all right? So you can say the man is beautiful when, you know, he's more, looks like a female more than a, a male, you know, like, this is the way the male look, there's nothing feminine, nothing, no green eyes, no, uh, no, this nice lips color, and beard, all right, so, you cannot say I am beautiful, you cannot say I am pretty, but, for example, uh, Justin Bieber, I believe, I'm not sure of the name, yeah, that man is beautiful. That singer is pretty because Justin Bieber or Paper, I'm not sure of the name, uh, has no beard, has got that nice skin tone. You know, you understand me, right? Okay, now we uh, go to the next word and the word is attractive attractive all right the word attractive mm, you know when you attract attention so that lady is attractive we say that lady is very beautiful uh, you will look and you enjoy looking at her right <laughs> we say attractive so pretty is then beautiful, then attractive, all right? Attractive somehow is hot. Okay. Uh, uh, sometimes a lady or a woman 
cannot be at really beautiful and cannot re cannot be ugly so you can say that lady is good looking good looking so good looking it means you know uh, she's okay she's okay she's like pretty good looking or nice looking good looking or nice looking I just want to make sure of only one thing. Is my voice audible? Whoops. Oh gosh, I don't see your comments. I am really sorry. I am really sorry. I, I... You know what? There's something wrong. I don't see your comments. I am really sorry. Guys, I'm really sorry. No. Uka Abu Azza. Pretty good. Pretty means quiet. Uh, sorry, quiet or somehow. That's pretty good. Don't mix things, please. Uh, pretty, my story. Okay, I will read the uh, uh, the comments, right? I'm sorry. Hi there. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Okay. Th great. 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 Hello. 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 Yes. 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 I am ready. Yes, teacher. We're ready. We can. Yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> no voice. No voice. You're kidding. Uh, pretty say to women, not winning. Uh, Hassan Bilhaj. A pretty is for women, for ladies, for females. But <coughs> sorry, but you use it to describe a man when the man looks like a female. Lips, skin, eyes, hair, you know. I told you. Okay, so ready, bro. Hassan, all right. Uh Hassan, please don't use a word till I go and talk about it. You're right, Hassan. But not yet. It is the opposite. No, 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 no. Uh, pretty means more beautiful. Yes, my story. Your handwriting is, is horribly beautiful. That Very good example. Thank you. I didn't... All right. Man hand... Okay, Hiba, not yet. You mean as the situation with... Uh, no, brother. Uh, hello, Mr. How is it going? Great, man. No, thank you. Handsome for a man. We will know. Uh, we will know. Please do not speak about words till I speak about them. Right? Uh, Wafa, I'm not looking for the Arabic translation. I'm, I'm looking for how to use it in English. Right? Because sometimes the way you translate it in Arabic w wouldn't help you a lot uh, while you speak in English. It's more like offensive word to say men look like that. Uh, th that's fine for me. It's so-so. There's nothing... Okay, there is something called so-so in English, but they don't use it very often. Like once in a blue moon, by the way. Okay. <coughs> okay. I will see your comments on uh, another mobile phone. All right, so the voice is very clear. I talked about your explanation. Oh, okay, thank you. You can see uh, we can hear you clearly, so don't worry. Okay. No one, brother, has, uh, don't worry, brother Hassan. It was pretty good. So pretty good, somehow good, not really good. Okay, so we talked about good looking and nice looking. All right. Now we move to the word that you've been talking about. Come on. This is the word. Oops. Handsome. 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 So handsome, okay. <sighs> handsome is mainly is mainly for men, for males. We say that person is handsome. The man is handsome. The, the teacher, the new teacher is handsome. That's good. But can I use it to describe women? Yes, we can use it. Especially about old ladies. Old ladies. Uh, 
when the lady is not really beautiful, but she's handsome, you know, she looks good. She looks good, you can say that lady is handsome. If you watched the movie, uh, this uh, Hobbs and Jason Statham, ah, Fast and Furious 9, something like that, maybe 10, I'm not sure. The mother of uh, Jason Statham, the mother of Jason Statham, what was his name in the movie? Shaw, yes. The mother of Shaw is handsome. That old lady looks handsome, all right? So we say handsome. So we can use handsome for men or for women, but for men is general, so it's okay. But for, for women, when she's old, we can say, we, we can use handsome, all right? Uh, okay, thanks. Where are you from? Why do you need to know? Uh, present simple she is good looking she is nice looking she is uh, she is pretty she is attractive she is beautiful uh, he is handsome he is good looking he is nice looking all right فما فيش اي مستوى في الموضوع اوكي okay. اخت غاده ثانك يو هانسم مان ا هانسم مان يو ار فيري هانسم تو جيف اس اول اوف ذيز انفورميشن اول اوف ذيس انفورميشن اوكي ثانك يو ناديا اي ام ان ماس اكشلي ذا نيكست ورد اول رايت اي نيد تو جيس ات وين يو سي ا ليدي اند يو سي ها لايك فيري بيوتيفول What is the word? I need you to guess that word. When you look at the, a lady, it cannot be a man, by the way. It cannot be a man, right? So, so, what's that word? That word is, oops, sorry. Stunning, 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 all right? So, that word is stunning, S T U. Double N I N G stunning. I need my camera. Yes, come here. So when a lady is very beautiful, yes, so stunning. That means you cannot take your eye off her. You're know, like keep looking. No. You, even if you have your wife with you, say, ah, damn it, right. That lady is so stunning. You can like look at her for a day. It's okay. All right. That's stunning. May you avoid using Arabic, please? My story. أول حاجة شكرًا على النصيحة. ثاني شيء في عندنا خوتنا العرب وناس تحب الإنجليزي. فأنا ندير في mixed. I'm sorry for this. All right. Mm -hmm. Stunning, yes, stunning. Perfect. Many people guessed it. That word is stunning. <coughs> okay. What about a place or scenery? When you say that scenery is, what's the word? Guess the word. That place or that scenery or that story or that film or that movie is. Uh, I'm sure that many of you are smart and gonna guess it. The word is breathtaking. Breathtaking. Okay, breathtaking. B R E A T H T A K I N G. Breathtaking. So, can I use it, can I use it to talk about, you know, uh, people? <sighs> yes, but not always, because breathtaking mainly for places or for things, not for people. But in specific certain situations, 
uh, you can, uh, in a good way, by the way, for example, you went to a party and uh, you saw a lady, uh, you know, so you can say, Brittany looks breathtaking, all right? So for, for this situation only, all right? Because it's like, uh, it, uh, yeah, uh, Brittany is so attractive, but in the new dress or the new haircut, she looks breathtaking. That means she looks more attractive than she usually does, right? So she usually looks very attractive, but with the new haircut, with the new dress, with the new makeup, with the tattoos or something, she looks breathtaking. But you cannot use it like always. You say, oh, you're breathtaking. No, you cannot use it like beautiful or something. Only in particular occasions. Let me see your comments. I catch and we can use it. All right. Thank you for understanding. No worries. No worries. My story means wonderful, breathtaking. Uh, Malak, breathtaking is one word. All right. Easy on the eyes. Okay. Now we come to this word. You know the word cute. Cute. All right. So cute, you can use it to describe babies. Cute. The baby looks cute or she's cute. He's cute. It's more about babies. But when we use it about adults means they are kind because they help us or they say something good to us or about us. We say they are so cute. Thank you. You're so cute. That means you're, you're, you're nice. Your behavior or what you say about me or to me or when you try to help me, say, thank you. You're so cute. Let me see your comments because I cannot see them here. I don't know what's wrong because... Uh, all right. Hiba Muhammad, your question is off the topic, but breathe is a verb. Breathe, th, th is a verb. Breath, th, is a noun, completely different. A verb and a noun. Anyone here can help me? Hi, teacher. Hello, Abdul Hamid. Also, we can use it to describe animals, right? Yes, Malak. When you talk about like babies or animals, like the cat's so cute, like, yeah, babies and animals. Yeah, the cat, the dog, the bird. But you cannot say the tiger is cute. No tiger, no tiger is cute. No, never, all right? So that that's cute. Uh, I, I, I haven't finished all of them, right? So we will keep, yeah, okay. Uh, and again, this one now, excuse me, the word sweet, sweet. So you can use the word sweet uh, as well to talk about, to describe people, but not the appearance. Someone is sweet, the same as cute, right? Uh, when people are kind to you or people try to help you or say something nice to you, you can say, you're sweet. It means what you said, what you did, or what you're trying to do, or what you're doing is so sweet. You're a sweet person, okay? But it doesn't mean that you are sweet. No. Uh, by the way, don't say sweetie. Sweetie is something else. Sweetie is like my baby, my love, honey, boo, bye. Okay? That's, that's sweetie. But sweet is something different. Let me see your comments. I'm sorry for that. Yes, the baby is always cute. Sometimes, not always. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Hello, teacher from Cairo, Dr. Moon Faraj. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. 
<coughs> again, what about like if we say cute and sweet, they're more about babies in some occasions and I talked about that. But what about this word? Adorable. Adorable. You can see it, right? Okay. Uh, adorable, you can, uh, adorable, adorable, you can use it to talk about adults, all right? Or the babies are adorable, it's fine. Uh, adorable, when uh, it's more about uh, babies or cats or something, again, uh, pets, but when you use it to describe people, adult, adult people, adult, that means they are innocent, you see, in, in a... Like, the baby is adorable, is so sweet, so babies are innocent, right? So when you do use, describe, you use adorable to describe people, uh, as if you are saying that lady is adorable, as if you were saying that lady is like a child, innocent, right? Or cute, or sweet, right? That's adorable, adorable. Now, we move to something else. Something really different. Yeah, sweetheart. Yeah. We can say sweetheart. Yes, we can. I like this word. Adorable. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. When the lady is... And... <coughs> The lady is too attractive, too beautiful. She has a very nice body. Uh, she is beautiful, I mean, face looking. Okay. You can use this word gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, sorry, gorgeous. Gorgeous, it means that lady is really attractive you know I mean you know really really attractive so you can say gorgeous uh, I have a gorgeous wife that means I have a very attractive beautiful stunning pretty you can use all the adjectives to say gorgeous all right hello Sai Okay. <coughs> what else? When you see when you, when you say like the lady is hot, it doesn't mean like temperature. You think it's like temperature hot? <laughs> no, no, it's not that that. So the next word is this. Hot. Hot. Hot means the lady is sexy, so attractive, so beautiful. All right. See. She's hot, right? You can use it to describe men, by the way, not only women. So some men are hot because they make, they make women, not they make me, right? Of course, I'm straight. <laughs> because like hot men, they attract women. They impress them. They strike them. So we can say men are hot as well. That's hot. Okay. There is something really interesting. This word. Fit. Fit. F-I-T. Fit. Okay. So this, the word fit, in standard English, like internationally, they use it like someone is athletic, sport man, sport body. They say that guy is fit or that lady is fit means like sport, like me. All right? Sure. Am I, am I fit? <laughs> okay. But in British English, when a man says that lady is fit, with the intonation, that means that lady is attractive. In British English only. So internationally, they know the word fit. 
is athletic or sport body or something. But in British English, when they say that lady is fit, that means she is gorgeous. She's hot. Okay? Hello, Miss Sadi. Hello, brother. Hello, my dear friend. Hello, Suhaib. You look fit. Yeah, I look, but I am not. Can we say that guy is slim? Yes, if he is slim or something. Okay. So, Abdul Hamid Ansari, are you alright? Beautiful, hot, attractive Libyan lady. Really? All together? Abdul Hamid Ansari, would you please cool down, brother? Cool down. Cool down, brother. Cool down. Stop posting the links, please. Or as simple as that, I block you. That's it. Because you are disturbing and distracting the, the people here. Please. Okay. <coughs> if there is a man or a lady that you can watch for a whole month, and you enjoy looking at the lady or at the man, simply you can use this. Easy on the eye. Easy on the eye. Okay, so you can, whoops, my hand. So you can say easy on the eye. That means you enjoy looking at them. That, that man is just an example. Okay, I will change the example. That girl is easy on the eye. Easy on the eye. Easy on the eye. That means I enjoy looking at her. Right? Uh, sorry, uh, Nadia. Your example is not correct. Because fit, you use it, should be as a verb, not as an adjective. Okay. <coughs> Now we are talking about the attractive body. Uh, guys, it's not wrong to learn all the words because you need to learn all the words. This is English. You need to learn all the words, okay? Whether the words that you should use or you must not use, like F language. You should know the words that you should use and the words, the words you shouldn't use and the words that you must not use. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the, the gorgeous body or the attractive body of women. How can you describe, how can you say that the woman has a very attractive and nice body? The first, you can say curvy, curvy, all right? So curvy, this is the shape of the body. So that lady has got a curvy body or she's curvy, all right? You can say that. <coughs> uh, another example, another word, which is this word. Don't worry. Curvaceous. 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 Curvaceous, all right? Oh, sorry. Curvaceous. 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 Curvaceous means as well uh, curvy body, very hot, sexy body. You can use that word as to describe it, all right? Uh, uh, we have another word to talk about the body of uh, a lady. And that when she has a very good attractive body, you can say voluptuous, 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 voluptuous. Voluptuous means curvy and curvaceous as well. All right. Uh, there is a very, like, uh, interesting word. Uh, you know the, the, the clock previously when they had uh, that clock, like sand clock, the sand, the sand watch or sand clock, 
when the sand is, drops, right? You remember the shape of the of that clock or that watch. You can say she's our glass figure. She's our glass figure. That means she has got a very attractive body. Okay? And that's flirting. All right? <coughs> uh, I have more five words. Do you want me to continue? Or oh, that's all for today. Okay, so if you want me to continue, I want to see that in the comments. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Cavacious is a new one for me. Okay, Kuka, good. I'm happy that you have learned something new today. Cavacious, yes, cavacious. Let me listen to myself. Speak, man, speak. Very good. The, the, the sound, the, my voice is really... Okay. <coughs> when, you meet, when you meet new people and they are very adorable, they are very nice, okay? Uh, uh, as if you are saying that you need and you, you want to love them because they are very nice, okay? You can use simply this word. Endearing. Endearing. Endearing, you can use it when you meet people for the first time or you see them or you uh, look at them for the first time, all right? And you want to say that you, they, they are lovable, they are likable, they, they, they deserve to be loved, right? Or liked. So you can say, she's endearing or he is endearing. That means your impression about that person, that that person is really friendly, really adorable, really nice. All right? So you can say endearing. <coughs> Sorry. Ah, your examples again, uh, your comments. I'm going to continue. Bravo. Okay, go on, please. I'm going on. Carry on. Carry on is a British English. Yes, please, if you want. Would you mind continuing? Okay. We continue. Okay, okay. Sukaina is like we. We? Is that yes? Yes, Sukaina. Yes, not we. Continue. Drink water, bro. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. You are so endearing. <laughs> Okay, when people, you meet a, a man or a woman and that man or that woman attracts your attention. That man or woman takes your attention and like, you cannot think about something else because they are, guess the word, guess it. Charming, charming, all right? <laughs> because they look charming or they are charming the way they speak or I don't know, I don't know. Um, okay, so something is charming in that person the way they look or the way they speak and they take your, they take your attention so that man or that woman is charming <clears throat> Okay And uh, there's now an adjective we can use it to an individual an individual post. No? I don't write posts. I go live. <laughs> okay. Now, you this uh, the next ex um, adjective, 
we use it when we talk about a lesson, about an activity, about uh, a presentation, or about a person as well. And the word is, come on, this one. Engaging, 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 all right? So when someone is engaging, they never lose you. You will not think about something else. You get yourself into what they say, okay? And like some people, someone is engaging. Uh, it can be in, uh, in a very friendly way or in another way as well. So when they are engaging, that means whatever they say, they keep you attracted, all right? Or some, something else. So sometimes someone is speaking. Let's say a lady is speaking and she's engaging. That means it's just like looking at her. Uh, I, I will not concentrate on something else. She is so engaging. She takes my attention as well. So we can say engaging. A more strong word to describe a more deep feeling, it is the word... Mm, come on, I'm just watching the cameras. All right. The word captivating. Capti Vaiting, captivating. Captivating, it means charming, all right, or engaging, but it's like very engaging, okay? Very engaging. Okay, and a very common word, which is the last word, <coughs> like, uh, for example, uh, you went to a presentation, a conference, and you don't, you didn't want to come. You didn't want to attend the conference. You didn't want to attend the party, the presentation. You didn't want. But the first moment that you stepped into the auditorium or the place, and you heard someone who is enchanting, enchanting someone who is enchanting so so the first moment you stepped into the place or the auditorium you heard or you saw an enchanting presenter he or that person will change your mood that person will make you love coming to such places so enchanting what can I spell you like سحرك غير لك المود وغير لك فكرتك نهائيا فتقول that person is enchanting سحرني alright <تصفيق> آه على فكرة حابب نتكلم على عدة مواضيع الناس اللي تقول ان اللغة العربية لا يجب ان تستخدم في تدريس اللغة الانجليزية هذا يعتبروا وجهة نظر فقط ليش لان <تصفيق> يقدروا يطلعوا على الانترنت ويشوفوا ان لعند الان الموضوع هذا يعتبر موضوع جدال ولم يوصل فيه الى حد الى راي معين وبعدين الموضوع هذا يرجع للاستاذ هل هو الاستاذ كفؤ ويعرف امتى يستخدم اللغه العربيه وامتى لا في شيء ثاني حاليا انا حضراتكم مش موجودين معايا في قاعه عشان نجهز عده اكتيفيتيز ونشاطات لو انت ما فهمتش بالطريقه الاولى تفهم بالطريقه الثانيه في ناس منكم هم ورا الكاميرا ما يحبش يسأل يتحشى منه هو يسأل فلكن لو هو قدامي أكيد أنا حنعرف من تعبير وجهه أنه هو فهم ولا ما فهمش فرجاء خاص يعني في منشورات سابقة في تعليقات تعتبر not professional يعني مش تعليقات ناس فاهمة شن هو علم التدريس وفن التدريس لأن عالم كبير على الأشخاص اللي مش قاديننا أو مش ممارسيننا فهذه نقطة، النقطة الثانية في منشور آه تم التعليق عليه، قالوا شنو يقول التعليق؟ يقول والله خلوا الصوت الصوت والنطق آخر حاجة، ما تصعبوهاش على الطلبة وخاصة المبتدئين، فالنطق هو آخر مرحلة في اللغة. <تصفيق> آه صراحة التعليق أقل من أني أرد عليه. أوكي؟ لأن التعليق نتاع آه آه شخص فاهم شنو هو اللي يحكي فيه، وشخص آه إنه هو عنده خبرة وينصح في الناس اللي أقل منه خبرة فأني نتعلم من حضراتكم أكيد ولكن بما أنك أنت مدرس أو أنك أنت مدرسة وتجي وتقول أو تقولي 
ان ننطق اخر شيء في اللغه لازم تراجع الموضوع عندك لان يا عزيزتي النطق هو اول شيء ليش اول شيء البني ادم البيبي اللي يشتغل فيه هو السمع بعدين النطق فنطق هو اذا كان حابين ان احنا نجول الانتاج هو ثاني شيء هو اول شيء اوكي وكمهاره هو جاي بعد الاستماع فكيف مدرس يقول النطق هو اخر شيء في اللغه نطق هو اول شيء في اللغه علاش لو القواعد غلط ونطقك صح حنفهمك نعطيكم مثال I are hungry I are hungry القواعد غلط نطقي صح فالرسالة حتوصل لكن لما نقول لك I am angry لنفترض نطق غلط لما نقول لك I am gay I am a nice gay يختلف لما نقول لك I am a nice guy فلأن نطقك غلط الرسالة فهمت غلط فيا أخي أو أختي اللي علق على المنشور يعني في ناس تستخدم في أسماء مستعارة فما نعرفش في من نكلم ميل أو فيميل النطق مهم جدا وهو أول حاجة لازم يتقنها المدرس ولو المدرس عنده ضعف فيها يمشي إنه هو يحسن نفسه قبل من إنه هو يقري اللغة الإنجليزية If you guys would like to ask me any questions please do because I'm about to conclude the live session. Gosh. Yes, I just for teaching is amazing. Thanks a lot for you. Thank you, thank you, Jaconda, Fatin. Just listening is the first skill. Yes, listening is the first thing ever. And like babies inside the mother, they listen as well. And then they speak. أرجو يا ريت ترد عليا. أنا عشق اللغة الإنجليزية عشق ودرستها وما كملتش وطحت في طريقتك. ريت ساعدني نكمل. How can I do so? حالياً أنا حالياً أنا نديري في مجهودي أحبتي أنا عندي مجموعات وعندي صفحات وعندي قناة فما نقدرش نقدم أكثر من اللي نقدم فيه يعني I'm sorry to say this عندي شغلي عندي دوامي أوكي فإذا كان في طريقة نقدر أن نساعد بها ونقدر أن نقدمها الطريقة هذه فا I'm that's gonna be with pleasure يعني uh, you are is explaining guy Jimmy. Okay, thank you, Qatar Nada. Uh, yes, you start easy. All right. Okay, okay, yes, this is my problem. Wakhiran Tla Lil Beth, Wakhiran. Don't look much more him, I can't stab Rok, Mister. Inta Sah. Fabjid Bullahi Ukut Ragad Yani. Il Kusa and Ine Haif at Tulab, Il Yagro and the Mudaris, our Mudaris Ahadi, Il Yulu and a Nutok Akhar Shaif and Lura. قصدي شين حال الطلبة اللي عندكم يعني كارثة ما ينسكتش عليها هادي وأي شخص يحب يناقشني ما عنديش أي إشكال ماشي آه يبعث لي سكايب ونطلع لايف إحنا اثنين أنا عندي طريقة نطلع عن وياه لايف على سكايب أوكي ونتناقشوا في الموضوع والناس كلها تسمع أوكي مش من يفوز لا إحنا نبو فائدة الأشخاص فائدة الناس هادي عندك أنت فكرة وعندك فكرة كل واحد يطرح فكرته ويناقشها أوكي وعشان الناس تستفيد يعني من تسمع تسمع الشخص اللي يقول لك النطق مهم جدا ولا الشخص اللي يقول لك النطق مش مهم ما هو هذا الموضوع احنا احنا حنتناقشوا فيه يعني عمليه مش uh, it's my first time here i like your english thank you i like your ideas fatin likewise good work brother i'm from tunisia i'm from libya you're great oh najwa when you say when people tell you they're, you're great that means they they great themselves because not great people will not know what great is okay so it goes both ways and uh, <clears throat> okay so we, some people so you, we want to improve our speaking we want to improve our speaking and when i tell them do this 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 and that they never do they never do excuse me they never do <coughs> you know reading and writing they will help you to speak better how? I will tell you. When you write sentences, you write examples. Some people, they just watch, hear the pronunciation, and yes, I memorize these words. What's next? Okay, my friend, this is English. You need to speak it. You need to practice it. And when you practice, you, not, you need to write sentences. You need to write examples. Okay, brother? Okay, sister? So that's the, that's what we're saying. It's not about learning. It's about speaking. It's about using. It's about producing. So whenever you write sentences and examples, your brain, your brain 
will be very quick when writing sentences or when thinking of sentences because you write much you have it's easy for you to to produce to to form to 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 structure sentences and examples and because you write a lot you have a lot of ideas so writing is very important in speaking reading very good reading when you read when you read a lot okay that will help you to i've written i've written i've written these notes here somewhere uh hopefully to write them all right <coughs> okay uh, I haven't read. I uh, haven't written what reading is going to do. So I always write when I, I have ideas. I always write them down. Anyway, so when you read a lot, your mind, your brain will be very good in understanding quickly. And do not use your finger when you when you read. No. So when you read you, and you try read and understand at the same time, it's very important. It's like listening and understanding at the same time. Reading and understanding at the same time. So you know, reading is not like listening. Reading is very slow. Who told you? I can speak slowly, more slowly than you read. So listening and reading, and sometimes you listen to someone who, who speaks really fast. Because like some people speak fast because they're fluent and they are used to speaking English, so that's fine. So now I'm speaking a bit fast. I'm speaking slowly, or that's the natural pace, not because I cannot speak fast. No, I can speak fast as well, but I'm not showing off. I'm just letting people try to understand me, and they, they understand what I'm saying. So reading is very important, and you try to speed up. So every time you read, try to speed up, because that will help you in reading and understanding and in predicting the, the, predicting the next words. Predicting the next words. So, for example, if someone is saying, I am trying, I am trying, you will understand the next word is to. I am trying to, immediately. That will help you to understand and to shorten and to lessen the time of understanding that you keep using. So, believe me, it's like about practice, about writing, and I did so. Okay. Uh, thank you. It's my first time. Welcome, Fatin. All right. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. No, Kuka. Kuka, would you please... Delete your comment, please, please. I really appreciate your efforts to, so thank you for that. So kinda, wanna have some kiki? All right, all four skills are important. We need to work on all levels at the same time. Uh, I don't worry about the levels, I, I worry about abilities, uh, Fat, and your idea is very, very amazing. But what we're saying is about the ability. Sometimes uh, your level in grammar or vocabulary or something, but you cannot, speak so it's about it's not about level it's about ability uh, what i'm saying uh, got me right so some part, sometimes you assess someone like this placement test and they tell you this this student is the intermediate level but when it comes to writing and speaking you found that they are at the elementary level so it's not about the level it's about their ability the ability they use their knowledge their competence and four skills are integrated as well and this is a clear we say content like integrated language learning so you integrate all the skills because that's that's the natural the that's the natural mixture of learning any language also an excellent speaking give it confidence for the person of course how can i improve my skills in reading okay three things no fourth read about in your interests about what you like okay for example if you if you like cartoons read about cartoons uh, if you like photography, read about photography. Why? Because, not okay, forget about English. Because in photography, you know much or you want to know much. And these two things drive your desire, all right? So the first thing, read about your interests. The second thing, a second, I mean, like not one, two, three, so can be one of them or can be the three of them or can be two of them the second thing is like reading about your line of study about your specialty about your specialization it's about your field of study for example geography read about geography why because you have background you have the knowledge already so 
When you read, you will not get lost. You will not get bored because you are reading about something you already know. Uh, not, you, you don't know everything, but you have a very solid background, a very like a comprehensive knowledge about or general knowledge about this topic. So you will understand what you're reading in, in, in English. The third thing is read something interesting. Uh, if you read uh, a story or something else, an article, and that article is very interesting about very interesting topic, no matter how difficult is, is that, or that is, sorry, no matter how difficult uh, that story is, no matter how difficult that article is, you will never get bored. Why? Because it is interesting. It's not boring. So use one of these Two of, the, uh, two of these or the three of these as you like, all right? So that's the way I advise you uh, to improve your uh, reading. Okay, how can I, okay, hi, 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 nice rings. You focus on the rings? Okay, focus on English. Thank you for your ideas, a very good teacher. Thank you, Fatima Zara. I have a very nice taste, Ahmed, right? <laughs> Thank you, Ahmed Rami. But which one is nicer, Ahmed? This or this? Tell me, Ahmed, which one is nicer? Like me, I am very good at speaking and reading, but unfortunately, in writing, and I'm very bad. No one is... One is, what you need is to know the procedure of writing, the steps. And that's all. To Ahmed, come on, Ahmed. The two of them? <laughs> wow, Ahmed, thank you so much. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you so much for your time. Uh, almost 10 uh, an hour. So uh, hopefully that you have enjoyed the live session. It's not like a lesson. Am I rhyming session and lesson? <coughs> okay, it's, about, it's more or less about refreshing or brushing up on your memory about some words. Uh, you might, I might reminded you, I might have reminded you of some words, or you have, you, you might have learned some words, and that is my target and my goal is like refreshing, helping each other to learn the words that I have given in this lesson. It's not only for the the usage I said; it can they can be used for different situations, different contexts. So please. Any word you see, go to the dictionary and look it up. Thank you so much. Can Ma'akum Muhadidkum Yusuf Abu Yusuf Abdul Salam. Thank you, thank you so much, and goodbye. Tabam shoot shtalikan, mahadjazal minni. Unshoot shtalikat.